Good morning YouTube. This morning I'm going to do a review of the Maxpedition No Attack. This is my first product review and my first post in YouTube ever, so please bear with me. Um, the reason I'm going to do a review of this pack is when I originally was looking at it, I went onto YouTube to find some reviews and there weren't a whole lot of them out there. Um, quickly, I, I'd seen a lot of uh, questions about why would you purchase a sling pack like this and not a traditional two-style backpack. And I'd like to say, if you're going to do more than a quick day hike or a hunting pack, that type of thing, if you're wanting to go out for two or three days, then obviously you're going to want to go ahead and get the two-strap style, uh, two strap style backpack. Just the amount of gear that you're going to want to carry A is not going to fit in this pack. And in the larger sling packs, I think that you would get too much weight on that one shoulder and it'd get quite uncomfortable. But what I bought this pack for was mainly climbing in and out of deer stands for uh, deer hunting taking the kids uh, on a quick hike to the zoo, to the park, that sort of thing. And I think it's gonna work out really good. Um, I'm not gonna get too much into the, to the materials and workmanship on this or get a ruler out and show you the specific sizes of these, these pouches and pockets. Most of that information is readily available on Maxpedition's website. Um, just know that all the Maxpedition products that I've run across have been exceptionally well made, exceptionally durable, um, and well thought out. Um, first we'll start here with the water bottle holder. Uh, I've got a 32 ounce Nalgene water bottle. Um, fits in there like a glove. Um, if you were to use a smaller bottle, this has got the cinch cord so you could cinch it up and not worry about it falling out. Um, it's got the traditional Y-strap that so many of the Maxpedi Maxpedition products have. Um, you know, you can slide a, a, a light fleece or a um, a pullover or something underneath here or at the bottom it comes around the bottom so you could put it here and then when you release this buckle uh, the buckle catches on the the molly or daisy chain so that you wouldn't lose whatever you had right there um, this sleeve I was a bit skeptical about when I was looking at it online but I, I've, stu I've stuck a knife in here and it really holds well um, and it's got the Maxpedition hook and loop um, attachment point here and inside the sleeve with this um, tension cord so you can really cinch down on things there. The exterior pocket right here is a nice deep flat pocket you could put a good amount of things in there um, and it's got this nice little safety strap here that that snaps on there and it keeps someone from sneaking up behind you and easing down that cord and getting to you know whatever you got there so that that's a nice feature there. Um, on the first pocket here, let's go through this. what I did was put some of the gear in it that I typically would take it take out, in hopes that uh, going through it, the viewers can y'all can look at this and say, hey, well I've got I've got kind of similar equipment, similar items I want to put in it, and understand the organizational capacities uh, that this bag offers and, and how you would fit your items into this bag if this was something you chose to get. So, anyway, I've got this first pocket here, which is some personal items, sunscreen, I've got a flashlight, some hand sanitizer for those kids' grubby hands, uh, you know, some chapstick. That's a really nice deep pocket. Now, this was something that I bought separate. This is Maxpedition's hook and loop, uh, really designed to carry uh, pistol magazines, but I had just put a multi-tool, a knife, and a little flashlight in here, and it's got the hook and loop attachment point here. So that came separately, but it, it works well. It's uh, it's you know designed to to hook right there, and you can put whatever you want in it. Um, on the outside of this is another sleeve. I've just got a little uh, notebook in there um, and a couple of pens, but this is another nice deep sleeve that you could put whatever you wanted to in there. Now, moving on to the main compartment. And another nice thing about the sling style pack is that with the one strap, to get into the pack, you can rotate it around and, and have it sitting on your front just like this where you can get into all your gear without having to unload and take the pack off. So that's another advantage of, of, of having a sling. Now, this pouch here, this is the main compartment. Um, and what you can see is you've got two dividers here, which I've got just a hard case for sunglasses. 
a set of binoculars. These are loopholed 8x30s. These aren't tiny, but these are kind of what I would call a mid-sized binocular. Um, and they fit right here in this pocket. And you've got this, you know, the main compartment here, which I don't have anything in, which is a nice big space. And then back, you've got another compartment, another deep sleeve right here. I've got just a knife, um, GPS, some rope. You hunters know what this is for, just pulling uh, you know, your gun or your boat behind you in a tree stand. And then on the outside of that pocket, you've got a nice mesh pocket. It's actually two pockets that has a sewn divider through here, but it's got one zipper so that you can access both pockets in the one zip. And that's kind of nice, not having to fool with two zippers. Um, and in this pocket, I've just got you know, another knife, um, headlamp, can't have too many lights in a pack. Um, then on this side, some uh, hand warmers. I think there's a lighter in here. There's a lighter in there, so and neither one of those were, were you know full by any means. Plenty of room for other things, so quite a bit of room and a lot of organizational capacity for for a little pack. It was very well thought out, in my opinion. Okay, then on the back, nice cushioned, um, breathable material, so it's going to be comfortable um, even on those hot days. And then you've got the water bladder pouch here with the waterproof backing so if you had a puncture or a rip or a leak in the bladder all your gear on the inside of the pack is going to stay dry and then of course again it's got the Maxpedition hook and loop patch there so you, you can put any of those accessories or uh, the, uh, the gun holster, the pistol holster that they make in there for some concealed carry. Just keep in mind if you do try, choose to do that um, you know your pistol is not going to be as accessible as say their um, you know, their VersaPak series with the same setup but you um, you know it's on your hip so you can get to it a lot a lot quicker um, now I'm left-handed I think this is typically designed for uh, you know a right-handed person to carry um, but it took me about five minutes to get used to um, it hadn't bothered me a bit I say it was designed for a right right-handed person to carry just the fact that it would it, it comes over your left hand it's over over your left shoulder and under your right arm but um, you know, that, it, it really didn't bother me being left-handed um, now the strap's nice and padded again, and then if you look here, this is actually the, the hole for the water bladder to come out, the tube, but this is a stabilization strap that comes under your opposite arm across your chest and clip into this here. When you cinch that down, you get a really good snug hold on this pack. It's not going to rotate on you, it's not going to bounce off, it's not going to slide around. So this is a really nice feature that really cinches this pack down and makes it very stable. It's got the little safety whistle that are coming on all the packs now. If you're just doing a casual day hike or something, you're not hiking around, you know, too rough a terrain, you can just tuck this right in here into the water bladder and uh, it's out of your way. It's no problem. It's not dangling. Um, so that's that's a good little spot for that. Got a few other molly attachment points here. Um, you've got the quick release buckle here if you, you know, got in a snafu and you had to get this thing off quick or if you didn't pull it, feel like pulling it over your head, you know, sometimes that's just as easy as, as actually undoing it. So, overall, really nice pack. It's got a couple nice grab handles um, to carry when you don't have it slung over your shoulder, in other words, here. Um, a lot of nice features, very well built. I think it's going to be perfect for my use as a day, day hike. Um, hunting pack, tree stand pack, that sort of thing. Guys, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're looking at a pack like this, it's because you want to take it outside and get in the great outdoors. Take someone who's never been hunting, fishing, camping, hiking, whatever ever it is you do. Take them out there. Take a kid out there. Show them the wonders of the great outdoors. That's what it's all about. Thanks and have a good day.